Hello everybody, welcome back to Frostpunk. I think things are wrapping up in this game. It looks like we just have drop, drop, and the temperature's just gonna keep going down and everything's building up. We have refugees constantly making their way towards the city and we have some scouts um, on their way to escort them here. Um, they're going to be here in 20 hours, so we need to have more houses for them. Actually, it looks like we need to have more houses for the people who are currently here. Oh no, we're, we're in the process of building them. Um, let's make sure we have heat available in all of these places. Um, it is currently not available, so we're going to want to build a steam hub. Let's go to tech steam hub. We'll create a new kind of warm area right here in the city. I think this will be nice. Perfect. Okay. So in another 11 hours, we're gonna get one steam core. Um, I know we're currently researching. Ooh, we got a big resource depot. Is this with all the coal ones? Yeah, so we're gonna make this one coal. What was I saying? So I actually think the number of houses we have will be enough for the new refugees that are coming in. Looks like we have several excess excess houses. Um, we do want to think think about building the advanced coal mine. Are we currently researching the advanced coal mine? No, we haven't researched it yet. We're going to research it. Um, we just built some advanced steelworks in the last episode, so we should be generating tons of steel for the time being. I'm going to go to the factory and I'm going to tell it to produce one more automaton. I think as things get colder and colder, we want automatons to replace more and more of the job to reduce the human, the human risk. Um, this of course is a large depot and it's next to, what, a bunch of food rations? We can make this for food rations as well. Perfect. All right, we're never going to run out of storage for food rations. Okay. We currently have five hungry, and I don't know why. We do need more medical posts, the more infirmaries, actually. So let's go to health. Let's go to infirmary. And let's find a place where we can put one, and it's not going to be freezing. Funny. There aren't many places left in the city that are still kind of heated and uh, ready to go. This place probably works. We can put a new infirmary there. That'll be another one of our steam cores. But we need the capacity. We have 28 sick people. In fact, the temperature is falling again. We might want to go for two more infirmaries. It's gonna cost us another 30 wood, 20 steel, and one seam core. Wood is the issue, funny enough. Never thought that would be a problem for us. We've made it this far into the game. It's because our wall drill is um, freezing. Okay, let's check the temperature overlay and let's see what the deal is. We have no freezing workplaces. Except for the resource depots are freezing, but that's fine. Most of the places where people actually work are doing just okay. We researched automatic prototyping. Fantastic. Priority number one is going to be advanced coal mines. What does this do? Coal thumper injectors. They produce coal piles 15% faster. Interesting. We go for house insulation. We could go for generator power upgrade. This is going to be the first one, I think. We need a bunch of wood, though, for it. We need a bunch of wood. Where's all the wood at? All right. These poor wall drills. Not producing wood fast enough for us now. Can't believe we finally got to a point in this game where we're actually hurting for wood.
But generator power upgrade is definitely going to be the next one, and then we're going to look at more coal production. We d I definitely need another infirmary as well. I think we'll create a, like a new neighborhood here. We can put a new heater and whatnot. Generator power upgrade needs 120. Okay, perfect. Okay, we'll get working on that. With the next wood that we get, a new automaton has been built. We can build another infirmary. We just need 30 wood. Perfect. Actually, we have all this warm, heated space here that we should be using. So let's actually create like a little kind of neighborhood area over here. Put an infirmary there. We can put some houses in here. Uh, we do need to see about upgrading all these bunk houses into normal houses. They'll be much better insulated and ready. A letter of thanks. Sir, an engineer is here to see you. He has a letter for you. Uh, he has a letter to you from his team. My work workers asked me to deliver this. They're plain people, so it reads like poetry, but here's the gist of it. They want to thank you, sir. The sight of this automaton working tirelessly in the inhuman cold, where previously they had toiled and suffered, is something worth living for. Hope will rise slightly. We almost have maximum hope, everybody. That's something to be proud of. That's something to be very proud of. All right. We have more automatons we can be putting to work. We have an automaton here, here. Here, 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 here. We have automaton, no, we have workers here. So we do need an automaton here. Okay. So we have six automatons working there. We have a crew working this one. Okay. So maybe I do need to pull the automaton off of this um, wall drill. Where is the wall drill? Here's the wall drill. I'm going to pull the automaton off. I'm going to put workers back on there, and I'm going to put the automaton back into this coal mine. Now, this whole area doesn't need to be heated because it's all worked by automaton. So, I'm going to actually turn the steam hub off. So, I look at the temperature overlay. We'll just make sure that everything that needs to be heated still is heated. The child shelter is uh, chilly, but we're working on the generator power upgrade to kind of fix all of these issues. Um, but other than that, we're doing okay. We have a bunch of uh, areas here. No, I think that's a resource depot taking up most of that space. I was going to say we have all this building area here, but really we only have one more place to, to build up. Okay. Here's going to be our next area. Refugees from the Frostland, the third wave, the third group of refugees is here. They're on the verge of collapse, exhausted from their journey, and by tending to the gravely ill and injured with them. Their leader, Nansen, isn't among them. We're evacuating everyone we can, but many stayed behind with those who are still too ill to travel, Nansen, amongst them. God have mercy on us all. The great frost is coming. Shall we let them in? Of course, everyone is welcome. 60 people, 50 of them gravely ill, will enter the city. Discontent will rise considerably. That's fine. We're letting everyone in. Apparently, we're getting it. It's heating up, but looms ahead, sir. Now we can clearly see what the refugees were running from. The great frost is coming. We have to prepare. Our scientists say they can calculate the severity of the storm from observations. They just need a day or two to prepare their instruments and install them in the beacon. All right. So let's look. We have a bunch of new places to explore. Go ahead and send our uh, scout team out. We need to make another scout team. Where's our beacon at? Is this the beacon? No, that's a wall drill. Here's the beacon. That's an outpost team. Where's the... Here's the beacon. Create a new scout team. We're going to send this scout team to Deep Hollow. There's something odd about the landscape here. It looks like a shadow on the white plain that deepens towards a central point. All right. Sending the people there. We're gonna need a bunch of new ho homes. I noticed we still have 30 people who are homeless, and that, of course, will not do. So we're going to build some more houses, and we're gonna build them in this new area we said would be like a new neighborhood. So I'm kind of disappointed I can't fit a house in there. I'm almost gonna say let's just temporarily dismantle these streets and we'll build a house around it. Like that. Okay. 
now we can kind of build these streets out again. All right, there we go. Um, we need some more houses, but of course we are short on wood, funny enough. Is it funny though? I don't know why I insisted on rebuilding these roads when I'm not ready to rebuild these roads yet. Okay, we need houses. How much wood do you need for a house? 25 wood. Oh my gosh. Alright, we've got enough for two more houses. Like this. Like this. And like this. Three more houses, four more houses, okay. Should be doing fine. Should be doing just fine. We need more people working in this infirmary. To get through all the sick. Generator power uh, upgraded, fantastic. We go to the temperature overlay of the city. Looks like things are actually too warm now. Things are too warm. That's not a bad problem to have. Not at all. Okay. Um, in this case, with things being too warm, these houses are actually a little bit chilly. We might need to... We might need to turn this steam hub on full time. 24 hours. This will be a 24 hour steam hub. Okay. Um, I think we can probably turn this down to steam level 3 so we're not blowing through our coal so fast. Even at steam level 3, we're doing great. Can we make steam level 2 work? We can make steam level 2 work. No use in wasting valuable, um, valuable resources. This wall drill, this poor wall drill is very cold. I don't think this uh, steam hub is quite reaching. All right, we might need to build this steam hub ever so slightly closer. So we go to tech. Go to Steam Hub. This should cover it. Does this not cover it? Why is this freezing? Alright. It says it should cover it, but apparently it's not. So we're going to... We're going to rebuild the steam hub right there and then we're going to dismantle this one once it gets up and running okay our scouts are almost made it we have another steam core on the way fantastic those infirmaries are priceless 51 sick i think this calls for a bunch of medical posts I don't think we need all that many infirmaries, but I think if we just put a bunch more medical posts in, that might do the trick. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and dismantle this one. All right. Fantastic. Go to work. Lord, be with us as we labor today. We need homes. People. House. House is the main order of the day. Of course, uh, we haven't. We found the dying people Nancy's refugees told us about. They're sheltering in an ice crevice. Okay, these people are on their last legs. Despite taking shelter in an ice crevice, many of them suffer heavy frostbite and hypothermia. We can help them still if we act quickly and bring them to our city. They can't stand on their own. We could leave them to fate. Or we could bring them to our city. Like 12 people, sure, we'll bring them to the city. Alright. You guys are welcome to stay here. 
We are the the last hope of this world. I am concerned about food though. Food is going to become an increasingly big problem. So maybe we build some more hunter's hangers. We're going to need some more streets to go along with it. Perfect. There we go. We can put some people to work in those hunter's hangers, get us more food. Raw food storage is doing just fine. We're more than able to keep up with our cookhouses. We do need more medical posts. And I think we can probably just put a bunch of temporary medical posts in to deal with the problem. The problem being that there are 49 gravely, or there are 49 sick people. Um, I think we need more houses as well. We're still short. We still don't have enough wood for houses, if you can believe that. Alright. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and build four more houses. These medical posts need staff. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and fully staff them. Okay, we finally have everybody sick in an infirmary. All right, the scouts have returned safely to the city. They bring with them seven children and 12 workers. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and send them back out to the Frostland. All right, where do we still need to explore? There's snow burrows. We can see several small mounds in the distance. Nothing stirs in the white plains surrounding them. Okay, we will go ahead and send these guys out. Go for it. We also have Camp Vulcan. Several shacks stand at the foot of a small hill. We can see plenty of activity. People are moving between them constantly. All right, we'll go ahead and send these scouts out here. We'll ferry them all safely back to the city. At least that's the hope. If we get any more um, steam cores, we're going to be spending them all on automatons. As it gets colder and colder, we're going to really rely on these automatons. There's no more wood left for this sawmill. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the heater off. We're going to dismantle this building. And... We have a wall drill here. We have another wall drill here. Okay. Make sure temperature is doing okay on all the places we need it to be okay. Yep. Okay. Very glad to see it. Alright, the temple has influenced some people to amend their beliefs. I don't know what that what that means in this case. Since we already have all the Londoners out of the city. Oh my gosh, we haven't been researching anything this whole time. Oh, I'm a big doofus. Okay. Um, we can go for efficiency upgrades. Or we can go for... Efficient gathering might be good. Coal thumper injectors, advanced coal mines. Alright, we're researching advanced coal mines. We're going to want to save our steam cores for those advanced coal mines. And then automaton efficiency is also going to be something that we want to research. Okay, all our hunters are going out to collect us plenty of food. Looks like we're doing fine steel though. We could probably do with some more steel storage. Runaway child. Sir, a man is here to see you. He says that his daughter has run away after news of the storm spread. He wants to borrow a scout sled and go after her. She's a big girl, but she's always been very impulsive and she scares easily, the father explains. I must find her before she's lost for good. She's all I have left. He'll die, stop him, equip him for the journey. Of course. 
Well equipment for the journey. Good luck. We hope you find your daughter. Um, there's no road out to this building? Okay, good to know. Now there is. Uh, we need more steel storage, so let's go ahead and go to resources, and we can go to large resource depot. Maybe we don't need a large resource depot to store steel, though. Where are these steel works? Are these our steel works? Yeah, we can increase uh, steel storage right here. Right here, we can build some more. Okay, I guess one we'll have to do for now. Let's change one of these food rations ones to steel. Okay. Oops, my bad. Okay, the temperature is about to drop by two levels and I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. A group of barely alive people hiding in several burrows dug piles into the snow. We'll go ahead and bring them back to our city. Okay, the name of the game is Rescuing Everyone We Can here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think probably we've only got maybe one, two, or three more episodes left. Things are definitely building up towards a big storm. Um, I think this, this has got to be the storm that you can see gathering on the horizon. So. We're going to try to stockpile as much resources as we can and get as much automatons automating our basic resource production like wood, steel, coal. Um, we already have our coal production mostly automated here, so um, what's next is going to be other resources as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.